Hello everyone, the Nerd Mary here, and in this video series, we will learn about neuroanatomy and neurophysiology. Now, this video is the very first video of the series on neuroanatomy and neurophysiology. So let's start by learning few basic terminologies which we will be using again and again in the course of the discussion. Nervous system has two basic components. One is the central nervous system, another one is the peripheral nervous system. So what is central nervous system? Central nervous system comprises of the brain and the spinal cord. It has the brain and it has the spinal cord. Right. Now let us understand in this diagram which part is known as the brain and which part is the spinal cord. This line that I am drawing it demarcates the brain and the spinal cord in this diagram. This is a very primitive diagram or very simplified diagram that I will be drawing again and again to make you understand about the central nervous system. In this, if you look closely, this part is known as the cerebrum or cerebral hemispheres. Now this part is the cerebellum This part is the midbrain. This part is pons. And this part is medulla oblongata. Right. And the rest downwards is known as your spinal cord. So this is your brain. And the rest is spinal cord. Right. Let's place the central nervous system a bit sidewise manner so that we can discuss more stuff. So here is our CNS placed. There are certain nerves which go out of the central nervous system and come into the central nervous system. All these nerves fall under the category of PNS. There are, there are nerves which go out to supply certain muscles or glands. And there are certain nerves which take information from eyes, ears, skin, etc. Right. So all the nerves which take in information sensory inputs from the sensory organs are known as the sensory nerves. And all the nerves that send instruction to different effector organs like muscles and glands from the CNS are known as motor nerves. Right. Now, based on this understanding, we have the, we have classified the peripheral nervous system into sensory PNS and motor PNS. Right. Now, the sensory PNS is again of two types. Now, sensory PNS has again two types. It can be either special sensation which requires particular or specific sense organs for example eyes ears nose etc for specific sensory inputs or that this can be general general sensation. Now general sensation can be again visceral sensation or somatic sensation. Now let's have a diagram to make you understand that in more details. Now over here we have drawn the skin and underlying the skin we have the stomach. So any sensation that goes in from the stomach will fall under a category. Any sensation that goes in from the stomach will fall under the category of a visceral sensation. And any sensation that goes in from the skin or the underlying fascia or the locomotor system will fall under the somatic sensation. Right. So somatic sensation and visceral sensation. So visceral sensation are from the visceral organs and somatic sensations are from your skin, fascia 
and locomotor system right now we come to the motor pns part let me change the color so that i can explain you in more detail now motor cns part can be either a voluntary part or an involuntary part the voluntary part is known as the somatic motor pns or motor system and the involuntary part is known as the autonomic right the somatic part is your voluntary and autonomic part is involuntary all right now autonomic motor system has again two components those components are either sympathetic nervous system or it can be parasympathetic nervous system so this in brief summarizes the entire idea of the nervous system in the next videos we will look into details of different parts of nervous system i hope you have understood this video if you have enjoyed this video please hit the like button share this video among your friends and peers of medical school and college and by any chance if you are new to the channel please hit the subscribe button press the bell icon and put the notification to all so that you never ever miss a video from my channel until then bye bye see you in the next one